Back to the KY3 Garden Spot. We're at Fast Night Creek Farm with Dan Bigby, where we've had the late frost, we've had the dry weather, and we've had the floods, all things biblical. So let's talk about something nice. Boy, howdy. Yeah, it's been crazy <laughs> last two weeks. Uh, that same ground that we were looking at last week that was crusty, uh, we're going to go over and work on it a little bit and dig a ditch to give it some relief because it's underwater right now. So what a, what a swing in seven days. And, uh, you know, you're going to expect some of that here in Missouri. But uh, it was seven inches for us here, and it Man. surely was a toad strangling gully washer for <laughs> sure. And we got lots to do to clean up. But on a nicer note, yeah. Uh, Got some beautiful plants, strawberry baskets, but this morning I went and picked my first strawberries, and so I'd say by the weekend we'll have quite a few eating strawberries ready to go. And the way you got to look at that is we got the seven inches of rain out of the way, mm -hmm. and uh, for me, I don't use any chemical uh, pesticide, fungicide on my strawberries, and so if they get a big heavy rain like that, it really hurts them but I like a clean strawberry. I think commercial strawberries from the coasts in Mexico are in the dirty dozen, 12 top most pesticided uh, produce plants. Repeatedly. Yeah. And so that's why if you can find a good local strawberry that's clean, you've got a real treat. So we got those coming on. Uh, we got things drying up and uh, looking forward to getting back in and planting, but it has been a wild swing here in the last two weeks. I see that. This is, this is something. This is not flowers and strawberries growing together. No, this is, this is beautiful flowering strawberries. We've got the pink, we've got some white and red there, and you can see they're setting strawberries, and they actually are fairly tasty. So if you want to hang something beautiful and mm -hmm. have a little something to eat for breakfast right there by your <laughs> breakfast nook, this is the deal for you. All righty. And we're on regular hours now. Back to regular hours mm -hmm. and looking for a big Mother's Day weekend next weekend. So we're getting pretty well stocked up with flowers, but produce is coming in nicely. And mm -hmm. I've got some turnips and beets and uh, radishes that I think this rain is really going to uh, get them ready pretty quick. So yep. it's looking like we're getting in the high gear. All right. We'll leave it there for now, Dan. Thanks a lot.